In this morning's Eye on Money, millions of Americans could receive smaller checks after filing their 2018 tax returns. The average refund is down more than 8 percent compared to the same time last year, according to the IRS. So to clear up some of the confusion, we're joined by CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger on your book tour, taking some time <laughs> off to come and help us make sense of this. Jill, this is the first tax season since the president's tax cuts went into effect. How is that impacting refunds? Well, so far, and I just want to say so far, we are talking about one week of data. So let's be clear that a lot of people were surprised at this first week. Now, we're expecting around 80 percent of Americans will see lower taxes in 2018 than they did in 2017. The problem is that many of those people may have already gotten those refunds. How? through their withholding. And when employers adjusted withholding, people may have had more money come to their bottom line. Part of that was potentially your tax savings. So if you get a smaller refund, you may have missed the fact that you've gotten a lot of it already. And the, the economic hope was that if it's in your paycheck earlier, you'll spend it, you'll save it, you'll do things with it instead of having to wait for the refund. If you're confused about what's up with my withholding, what do you do? Well, I think the first thing is you want to see how much was actually withheld from your check, and you get that from your tax documents. When you file, you're going to have a better picture as to what you need to do going forward. And I think this is incredibly important. If you find that you owe money, you're going to have to adjust your withholding. Tell your employer, hold back more money, send it to the government so I don't have to write a check. On the other hand, if you're getting a really fat refund, then you may want to adjust the withholding the other way. Because really, a refund, I know people think it's for savings, but you've just extended an interest-free loan to mm -hmm. Uncle Sam for the year. And I got a feeling you could use that money better than your uncle can. Mm -hmm. I saw an interview with a guy who was very irate because he said last year he got $10,000 back. This year he has to pay $10,000. Is that all a matter of withholding? Uh, is that what this I, is I for him? I think that that's an extreme case. And you I do. don't think we're going to see as many stories. You'll hear about them. I think those are people who come from high tax states. If they were high tax, if you're in a high tax state like New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, California, your deductions for your state and local taxes were limited to $10,000. Those are the people who are at risk. About 5% of taxpayers will likely pay more this mm. year than the previous year. And most of those folks, I believe, are going to come from those high tax states with limitations on their deductions. It doesn't feel like it's an extreme case when it's you. Oh, of so, course not. So of what should you not. do if you, if you haven't filed yet? What should you do? Okay, so when you file... To get this, money back. So, well, I don't know if you have to get or break back. even or Look, break even. How about we just get you to file, which yes. is good. The IRS that? says, please use software. And the IRS has free software, IRS free file. If you make less than $66,000, this is the vast majority of Americans. Almost 70% can qualify for this. Try that. If you need help, two programs that are important, VITA, it's a volunteer income tax assistance program, tax counseling for the elderly. Go to irs.gov. There is a ton of information there. File electronically. Paper is so 1985. <laughs> <laughs> and a ton of information from you, as always. Thank, Thank you, you, Joe.